was like about to add. Like one, this. two. And we're rolling. Picture yeah. me rolling. I'm waiting. I'm rolling. Don't you wanna see me riding dirty? Yeah. Wanna see me riding dirty? Wanna see me riding dirty? That's all I know. What episode? James. What episode? I don't know. 31. What? 31. What are you saying? Episode 31. 31! You know what? I rewatched the last episode. I don't know if we mentioned the number. And I'm also pretty sure that I didn't yell it, so. Sorry. Also, real quick. First, first things first, big shout out to Prickly Porcupine uh, for who? shooting who? this video. My boy, the Prickly Porcupine, Zachary, and his Prickly lovely lady, Ingrid, Porcupine. for shooting. I am friends with them on many a social media, and uh, they do some pretty They're dope pretty cool. stuff. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I'm actually looking in my social media right now. Shout out to Alchemist, because remember last episode, big shout out to Alchemist. Yes. Their beers, we had questions, they gave us answers. That's fantastic. Uh, you think that a brewery that big would have no time whatsoever to uh, answer our questions. But maybe we're big time too. We maybe we're big them. time, yo. Huge in Sweden. Huge. Huge. We are massive in Denmark. Okay. That's good enough. How about I just roll down the answers quick? Uh, if you can do them very quickly. Because I'd really love to get into these beverages. Oh, I'm going to just say this. Okay. If you didn't watch the last episode, yeah. watch it. Yep. Because we had some questions about Alchemist beer. Right. We had questions about the uh, sediment in the beer. Yeah. Why they want us to drink out of the can and not yeah. the draft. Yeah. And does Vermont have more maple syrup production than Michigan? Or is it Maryland? No, we just wanted to know if that's what they're famous for. What are they famous for? They're famous for, Vermont is famous for maple syrup. And really awesome finals. And finals. So, and questions asked, answered. They watched the entire video, which was super dope. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Shout out because that was kind of a long yeah. one. Um, but we got our we got an answer. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. So yes, they are famous for maple syrup. Yes. Well, when they somebody goes to the brewery, they do drink it out of a can, or they have a special glass that they pour it into that they drink out of. Yep. And the reason for the sediment is that the beer got warm. There's a little separation in the proteins, but it's all good. But it's totally good. It's totally delicious. We loved it. Means. We loved it. Awesome. Yeah. How's your beer? How's your pre-ship? Mm. Your pre-production pre beer. Pre-pro beer. Well, is... this Fluxed in Paradise Double Dry Hop IPA joint session with Shorts Brew Fluxed Company. In Super good. Paradise. What is that song? Living in paradise. I just want yeah, I just want to go home. All right. No, I'm pretty sure that's not what it is. So today we're gonna to drink beers that we can't get. Yeah. Yeah. So we can't get Lawson's finest liquids. That was a Sip of sunshine gift. Yeah, that was a gift along with uh, zombie dust from Free oh, Floyd. Gift. Who'd those come from? Uh, those came from Andy, our good friend Andy, at starving artist. Starving Artist Brewery. Shout out to Andy. Shout out to Andy. We love Andy. Yep. He just threw those my way and said, take those back, put them on a show. You do what Andy says. Yeah. You just do what Andy says. Um, yep. So yeah, this Lawson's, because we did the uh, um, Alchemist. Alchemist, he's like, you guys got to have this. It's the best brewery out of that region. So I yeah. don't know. So, yeah. No, it is good. I've had yeah. this. So yeah. So actually, it was kind of serendipitous. We got this beer, plus you got a couple more Alchemist beers from Andy, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I got a box from the gentleman that watches the show, uh -huh. similar beers, Yeah. so we're gonna rock them out. Sweet. Um, the other beer that we can't get, we should be able to get, is Double Two Hired Ale. <laughs> People have been talking about this from Bell's. Yeah. 11% um, beer. Everybody's been super excited to try this. I've had customers coming in the Manistee Beverage Company for two months straight asking me when I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. And I've got, I've received virtually no communication from my distribution network oh. about this beer other than what I saw online. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, which would have been the 25th, Fifth. Yeah. Sixth, Sixth of August, uh, yes. my rep called me and told me, hey guy, I just want to let you know Double Two Hearted is out. Okay. But you're not getting any. 
two cases, the only two cases for Manistee, mm -hmm. are going to the big grocery store, Myers. So the little craft brew, independent yeah. retailer, yeah. not uh -huh. just me, but every small independent retailer that mm -hmm. sells craft beer, that loves craft beer, that promotes Michigan craft beer, yeah. kind of got screwed. Yeah. Um, and, you know, because Meyer is always out there promoting beer. Right. You know, yeah. Meyer every is, ad is Meyer, craft beer, you know Michigan what? craft beer. Come to Meyer, have craft beer, support Michigan breweries. We love you so much. We don't just throw your stuff up on the shelf and, you know, people that want to come in to get their their brand flakes, you know, maybe they want want to pick up some beer. So we should definitely talk a lot about craft beer so people know that we have it. Yep, that's huge. Mm -hmm. well, that, well, that's what that's what Meyer does. Yeah, no, they don't. Watch the whole video. Let's get the whole recap on this because what we'll, what I'll talk about quickly is allocations and okay. what makes an allocation mm -hmm. why i didn't get this beer okay because i was told that number one i don't have enough points of distribution <laughs> for bells okay in order to get on that's a start okay. get on the list yeah. so what that means is you have to carry every single one of their labels uh -huh. and you have to ensure that you're carrying at least one that you're purchasing every label in a calendar year so that gets you on the list and then it's also coupled with volume. So if you don't have all the points of distribution and you don't do enough volume, you don't get a good beer. Now this works the same with Hop Slam and a lot of the other, you know, hard to get allocated, quote, allocated brands right. from Bells. My argument is Meyer doesn't carry everything that I carry from Bells. Well they don't, not a calendar because they're set driven. So it's so let's do that. Let's do it. The rant is over, we're gonna drink the beers. <laughs> The rant is kind sort of, of over. We haven't got to that beer. Well, yet. we haven't gotten to the yeah. We haven't gotten three beers in yet. So let's let's talk about Lawson's finest liquids. Sip of sunshine, IPA. Yeah. Enjoy cold, fresh, and out of a glass. Oh, apparently, it smells amazing. So these guys are from Stanford, Connecticut. Is that? Isn't that like where the real Stanford is? Like the Stanford the University? Isn't that in Connecticut? I don't know. You went you colleged. I colleged. I colleged in Nebraska and in Oklahoma. So yeah, that's, that's not even college. <laughs> that's not even, that's it like, is. Did you get your I went to did the, you, did I you went get your to the, seventh grade degree? I went to the Ivy League of the Central United States. You're just gonna drink it. Hey, cheers, buddy. Cheers, brother. What you is went this? to the Ivy League of the what? I did. Of the central, the central states. Yeah. So this is just an IPA. Eight percenter. Nice. It's got some pop to it. Our lupulin words laden IPA is packed with juicy tropical fruit character, bright floral aromas, delectable layers of hop flavor. Pour mindfully. Inhale deeply. And enjoy the tropical vacation in a glass. I did not get a tropical vacation from that beer. Huh? No. Lawson's finest liquid is a family owned, award winning brewery, tap room, and retail store located in Mad River Valley, Vermont. Sip of Sunshine IPA is brewed by Lawson's finest liquids in Stanford, Connecticut. Two Roads Brewery Company. No. After tasting work, this, after tasting this beer, I don't know what I what like the finest liquids are there. Um, it tastes it's like an eight percent IPA. It does. It tastes it's, like an eight percent IPA. Really boozy for an IPA. I'm not. Um, well, we're about ready to have like a really boozy one. I know. That's eleven. Percent. I know, but it's a double. I mean, that's not supposed to be a double, is it? It should probably characterize this as a double. If you went to a uh, pub house or tap room, got this poured. You would say it was a double. Yeah. Yeah. Not seeing anything with the hot bridles. God, it just keeps going. Actually, I don't mind it. I think it's a good beer. I don't think it's something that I'd be like, oh shit, I really wish they sold this in Michigan. You no. Know what I mean? No. I can, if somebody was like, dude, I am a hop head. 
I want to be smashed in the face with hops. And after I drink that beer, I want it to like keep going for eight minutes. After I take a drink of beer, I still want to taste hops in my mouth. That yeah, is. they're being pretty descriptive with the uh, pack it's full 8%. of this tropical fruit. Character. That means that 8% of a minute is going to be filled with, filled with hops in your mouth. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. I missed you, buddy. I know. I missed you, too. It's been a minute. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious is right. Um, Andy, I don't think this is the... Uh, the cream of the crop IPAs, although I will say, again, shout out to Alchemist. Yeah, but, um, that was good. Although I like this beer, it's, I'm not hating on this beer. No, this I would drink this IPA. I, I do wish that it was lower ABV or call it something different than just a standard IPA. I would drink one of them. This We'd have not... to because it it, it 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 almost tastes to me it tastes sessionable. But it, I don't I don't get an over boozy feeling from it. I do. Yeah, I definitely get over boots. I get over boots from that. Have you been drinking Miller Lite again? No. Um, Coors Light? Have I you dude, been sneaking I you, Coors Light? No. I tell you, the one that I love is the one that I've always loved, and that's that shower beer. God, I love The shower beer is pretty damn good. Shower we should do a Champion Brewing Company glug soon. I honestly thought you were going to say we should do it. In the shower. <laughs> yes, we should have said it together at the same time. No. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Shower yeah. beers in the shower. We are not doing a shower beer episode. A, the four of us could not fit in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are pretty good. Uh, yeah, and we'll wear bathing suits, obviously. Oh, yeah. I haven't played with those, so. <laughs> Yeah. Not that kind of show, James. No, it's not that kind of show. So much. Yeah, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Kind of show. Trust me. Who's out your boy? Shout out to Jason. Appreciate the shirt, bro. Yeah, appreciate the shirt that you gave him. Also, yeah. shout out to shout out to Brian Wood. Toss him a shirt. We'll do a blog episode. Hey, Wood. Woods online. Woods where online. You find, where you find the woods? Online. Online. Yeah. Well, it's America. It is. America. So. We'll see America, one RV trip at a time. That's where we go. We have the woods. That's where we go to the woods. We go online. Well. <laughs> Your screensaver. Your screensaver shows you the woods. As it comes out, it's like, the woods. The woods. Trees. I don't like your haircut. It's too short. Oh, wow. How are we going with the man bun? It will grow back soon. Very soon. It's fine. It's fine. You just wait until four months from now when I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to let it grow out for the summer, for the winter. And I'm rocking that, you know. Thinking about doing like a big bush career. Career. That's so great. Have you had zombie dust before? No. no. Three flights? Nope. You know, they're in Indiana. Munster, Indiana. I was going to say, please don't tell me it's Gary. <laughs> well, we know the devil went down to Gary. The devil went down to Gary. And he Another stayed black luster. And they just decided to set up residency in Gary. Why not come to Michigan? They would destroy Michigan. Who? The zombies? Three Floyd. Oh, the zombies. Oh, the three Floyds. Not the zombies. Are you ready, Freddy? Oh. We had to suck that one down a little bit. Oh. Three Floyds uh, Brewing Company out of Munster, Indiana. This is their zombie dust. Kind of a flagship for them. This would be their flagship, I'd say. This is what everybody asks for when they come to the store. Do you have any zombie dust? If they don't know you, you by now, now, they will never, ever, ever, ever know you.